Hello everyone, it's Natalie here from Person Natalie and welcome to my kitchen today. Um, in my last video demonstration we made those homemade tortillas and I told you how I like to make homemade hummus to go along with it. So I thought it would be fun to show everybody how easy it is to make homemade hummus. I'm not a fan of the commercial store-bought ones that you buy in the little tubs. Um, I will occasionally buy the ones you buy at the, um, like our produce market sells their homemade version and I'll buy that. I like those. But um, I like to make my own. You can kind of gauge your tastes and flavors in it. So I just thought it would be fun to show everybody how to do it. So let's get started. What we're going to do is you're going to start out with one can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas but I'm Italian, we call them chichi beans. So that's what we're gonna start with, one can of chichi beans. And I have a little, this is not a toy. This is, I bought this years ago at like our local hardware store for like $10. And that's what I use to make my hummus, believe it or not. Um, I think maybe this week though, I'll go to Bed Bath & Beyond with one of my coupons and buy a good big girl food processor, so. But, for now, this is what I have. So you're going to add one can of your chickpeas there, and then two tablespoons of tahini. Tahini is like a Mediterranean um, condiment. It's really ground up um, sesame seeds with the oils. So this is used in a lot of um, Lebanese and Mediterranean cooking. So that gives it a nice flavor. We're going to add two tablespoons of your tahini paste. And you can find this in the grocery store. It's probably by like the um, specialty olives or the ethnic sections that they have now. So that's two tablespoons of tahini. Then, next we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil. Next, we have, I start out with a quarter teaspoon of salt as I'm mixing it. And if you taste it and you find it needs more to your taste, that's what's nice about making your own. You can add what you like and how much of it you like. The same with the garlic. Now, I use two cloves, but they're small cloves. If you have a bigger clove of garlic, you might only want one. But like I said, you can always taste it. And if you like it more garlicky, go for it. So this is two smaller cloves. And also, as this, if you make it and set it in the fridge, that garlic's going to get a little bit more potent, just to remember that. So that's two cloves. I have a half a lemon that I'm going to squeeze in here. When I used to make this, I never used to put the lemon in it. Now, recently, I have been. So it's not a necessity. It's optional. But I think it gives it a nice little flavor. Okay, so that is everything. Now, what I did here is I measured out quarter cup of water, but I put a little more in there because you never know, you might need a little more. So I'm going to put some of that, like half of this water in there just to get this going. And now you just start to process it. It just all starts coming together. And you can kind of check it after a few grinds. Add a little more water, that'll get it going smoother. Sorry, that's so loud. My little toy here. I will get the big girl one this week. Okay, let's 
see how that looks. Okay, you can see it's getting to be a nice consistency here. That's what you want. This is looking really good. I might, and you can drizzle a little more olive oil if you think you need it. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit more in there. Maybe the rest of this water. And then we'll get that going. And then we're going to be done with it. of this out and this is going to be my plain hummus. So out of this one recipe you can make two different kinds and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add um, the roasted red peppers from the jar and that gives it a really really nice Mediterranean flavor also. That's the way my husband likes it, so that's the way I've been making that for him, and I like it that way now, too. So here is one ready to go, and I'll show you how to garnish that after we ro add these roasted red peppers to the rest of this. So I just grab them right from the jar and get maybe nice pieces. You just break them apart with your hand and throw them in there. So this is like four pieces. So now we're adding that and then we're going to grind that up. kind of pinkish, it's pretty much all done there. So, now we have our roasted red pepper hummus. And we're going to just scoop that into the bowl here first. This makes a nice batch. One can. You're getting two nice bowls. If you want to make it all plain or make three different kinds, you're your own boss here. You can make it the way you like it. So there we go. Look at that. So we have the roasted red pepper hummus, our plain hummus. And what I like to do is just drizzle it with a little olive oil for serving and just sprinkle it with a little paprika. You could even, if you like um, pine nuts, throw some roasted pine nuts on top. That would be really good. So there you go. That's it. You have your hummus fresh nice and like I said taste it as you're going along if you think it needs more salt add more salt more olive oil more water but this um, recipe kind of turns out really nice so that's what we did earlier today I um, actually it's still warm I just took it out of the oven I made this peasant bread make it right in your Dutch oven here and bake it and I don't know let's take it out and see how it looks homemade fresh bread can't beat that so let's cut a slice I made this bread with that zero zero flour that I love to use, the double zero from Italy. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this hummus here with this 
hot breath. Oh wow, that is really good. Well, I think you'll enjoy this. I hope you do. I hope you try it. It's really easy. I think this would be great to add to your charcuterie board with olives and cheese and crackers and fresh bread. Maybe next time we'll make this peasant bread. It all goes together in one bowl in your mixer and you add your water and look at this nice bread you get. This is still warm. It's awesome. So I hope you'll come back next time. Maybe we'll make the bread. I hope you had fun today. I had enjoyed showing you how to make this fresh hummus. So enjoy and we'll see you next time. Take care.